Hey guys, welcome to our Beachbody Fit family. My name is Becky Schrader and I am your Beachbody coach. So we are on day two of our countdown to our May fitness challenge that starts on Monday. And again, today we are talking about getting prepared to start our challenge and to start your program in just a couple days. So first off, sorry this video is a little bit late. My phone has been out of space all day. Um, so hopefully I'll keep this one short. But a um, couple things I wanted to mention. I know that this is a busy weekend for everybody, right? Today is the Kentucky Derby, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Probably the last thing on your mind right now is getting ready to start a fitness program on Monday. I get that. So what I wanna do is make sure that you have access to all the tools that you can use to get prepared for your program so that you can plug in here and use them whenever is convenient for you, okay? So you don't have to uh, be on my schedule just uh, make sure that you are utilizing the tools that you have to be best prepared for success come next week, okay? So today we have quite a few things to go over. Number one is we're really going to talk about food, right? The meal, well, I'd say food and your workouts. All right, we're gonna leave some of the other stuff for tomorrow. One of the hardest parts of these programs when you're first starting is mastering the meal plan. So I highly encourage you to bust out your booklet, right, that came with your program. They're almost all exactly the same, regardless of what your uh, program you're using. Um, find the page that walks you through what calorie bracket or plan um, you're gonna be on, right? It's a little calculation that you have to do with your weight and your um, activity level, that sort of thing. But it basically tells you how many servings of food you're gonna get per day and of which type of food, okay? And then it's a simple process to go to the food lists pick out the stuff that you want and make a grocery shopping list that fits an eating style that you actually like, okay? So that's really what I encourage you guys to do today. If you're sitting on the couch, having a nice afternoon, open up that eating plan and just peruse through it. They're very short. It's not like a deep, intense reading, okay? Um, but that's your task for today, guys. Look at the eating plan, figure out what meal plan bracket you're in and make your grocery shopping list, okay? If you are trying to get ahead of the game, uh, before Mother's Day tomorrow, then I want you to actually go to the grocery store and pick up enough food that you can use throughout this week to make some basic meals, okay? Um, when it comes to meal planning on these programs, my best guidance is the more that you plan, the better you will do. However, I know for me personally, when I first started meal planning, it was way too overwhelming to even think about creating a meal plan for an entire week. Um, it was really more realistic for me to focus on like day, one day at a time, um, and also to focus on making sure that all the meals that I didn't have to think about, like my breakfast, my lunch, and my snacks, that I prepped all that stuff in advance, okay? But then as far as dinner was concerned, that was definitely, I would definitely used to wing it a lot more because I just didn't know what I was doing yet, right? And that's totally fine. So I recommend you guys go through those food lists, pick out the stuff that you actually like to eat, right? We don't want you to force you to eat something you hate. Um, make a grocery shopping list and go to the grocery store. Load up on those healthy snacks, you know, fresh fruits, fresh veggies, um, lean proteins, simple carbs, right? Stay away from the center of the store where there's all that processed stuff, okay? Make sure you have a plan for how you're gonna get your water, whether you drink, you know, prepackaged bottled water or you carry around a jug. Um, all that stuff, just get your toolbox in order this weekend, okay? And then as far as meal prepping goes, again, because tomorrow is Mother's Day and I know we have a lot of mothers in here, if you're not wanting to spend your Sunday cooking food for next week, focus on that a little bit today. Um, I'm gonna post some videos below this on um, tips that I've used in the past for meal prepping, uh, some simple meals as well as snacks and things like that um, so that you can use those to knock out the food part today. And then really all we'll have to do tomorrow is um, take your measurements and your before pictures, okay? So you can put that off all the way until Monday morning if you have to, but uh, it's an essential step in this journey, so I don't want you guys to skip it, all right? Um, last thing before we cut this off, if you haven't already checked out the re equipment requirements for your program, you know, for each program it's a little different. Some require just hand weights, some require resistance bands, you might need a mat, that kind of thing. Um, I want you to look in your program and see, okay, do I need to go to the store and buy any fitness equipment to be successful with this program, right? It's always best to have that on hand before you get started so you're not behind the eight ball on day one. 
All right, so once you figure out, do I need any more equipment or have I got it all, then I want you to take a look at your house, whether it's your you know, spare bedroom, your bedroom, your living room, where are you gonna work out, okay? Make sure that you have a plan of action so that Monday morning you wake up and you go downstairs, you know that you've gotta shove the coffee table out of the way, lay out your mat, push play, and you're good to go, okay? This, is, this weekend is really all just about getting your mind in the right frame to say, okay, I know what I need to do, all I gotta do on Monday is get up and do it so that you're not waking up on Monday tired, rushing to get to work and going, oh God, I gotta figure out this plan, right? We gotta do a little bit of prep work to make sure that Monday is your best day ever on this plan, okay? So if you guys have any questions, post them below um, and I will be checking into the group a little bit later today to answer those. Um, but again, if you have any concerns or questions, just put them in the group. The collective community here will help get them answered so that you are ready to start on Monday. All right. Have a happy Saturday, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.